you've gone through this entire process with the Pfizer BioNTech vaccine. You've gotten your first dose, and now you've gotten your second dose. How do you feel, and what's the experience been like for you? Uh, okay, so I've had my second dose, and I've had absolutely no complications at all. I've had no adverse effects. I'm, I feel very fine. Some of my friends who got the second dose felt a bit unwell after the dose. Uh, in fact, um, they had some minor, minor adverse effects like headaches, uh, feeling unwell for a day or so, but nothing serious. So, and I, I'm feeling fine, absolutely. All right, we're looking at some pictures of you actually getting your vaccine, I believe, from your Twitter account. Um, it's great that you feel great about it. What do you think about the fact that officials there in the UK, they're going to actually delay that second dose for many people. Instead of doing it in 21 days, as recommended, they're going to do it in 12 weeks. How so, do you, well, really quick, how does that impact the efficacy in your mind? So uh, I think when I first heard about this the weekend before I was going to receive my second jab, I felt a bit disappointed. But then on reflection, I felt perhaps it was a good move. So uh, I actually went for my second appointment, half expecting to be turned away. Uh, but they didn't have any other patients booked that day or any other people booked that day. So they gave me the second dose, which is fine. Uh, but having uh, looked at it in more detail, I think this is a very pragmatic decision. And uh, this is actually, I would say, a very smart move, considering the fact that we do not have enough vaccines for everybody at the moment. Um, as, as you can imagine, everybody in the world wants the vaccine, and there is a limited supply. And, and the UK has a certain number of doses given to them. And to make the best use of that, I think it's a very good move to delay the second dose. Um, also, there's a special situation in the UK. At the end of last month, there was a sudden surge in the number of COVID cases. And therefore, uh, therefore the authorities felt that it would be safer to actually delay the second dose for everybody and well, to well, give Dr. Zambar, as many let's, people let's jump as into that. the first dose. You're a medical Pardon? professional. I said, let's talk about that. You're a medical professional. Yes. And basically, the UK health officials are saying they're not going to follow the, if the directions on the prescription that they've been given. I mean, it's supposed to be yes. a certain amount of days, and they're saying, no, it's going to be a different amount of days. I don't think you'd recommend yes. that to many of your other patients, but you're, you're saying you think it's okay for an entire country. Yes, yes, it's okay. Because in a pandemic, it's not about individuals. It's about the population. And, if, if, and, and actually, they've looked at the data as well. For example, if you look at the Pfizer studies, after the first dose, between the two doses, uh, uh, there were a certain proportion of patients who got COVID who were vaccine failures. But if you look at the data, most of the failures happened in the first one week after the first mm -hmm. after the first dose, and that is that is the time when the vaccine is not supposed to be effective and the immunity is not supposed to kick in. And if you look at the number of patients or number of people who got COVID between 15 days and 21 days, or between 15 and 28 days after the first dose, that number is pretty low. So you can actually say that there is a 90% efficacy even after the first dose. And, and that's what they have done. And I think they... Wait, 90% uh, the, the efficacy after just one dose? Yeah, uh, 15 days after the first dose. Okay. If you remove the people who have infections between day one and day 15 after the first dose, if you remove those people, then yes, there is a 90% efficacy. And the majority of the infections that happen immediately after the first dose, they are not vaccine related or they are not, uh, you wouldn't expect the vaccine to benefit them. Shepard Smith here. Thanks for watching CNBC on YouTube.